Welcome to the CIO video series. My name is Paul Taylor. I'm editor of The Connected Business. And with me today is Clive Selly, who is the CIO of BT. How do you see things changing in the future in terms of uh, trends uh, in IT, like big data, cloud, cybersecurity? Uh, any of those issues front and center for you? Um, the big data issue is absolutely enormous for us. Um, just a simple uh, forecast. Our networks are, or with respect to our networks, we're forecasting five-fold traffic growth in the next five years. So that's, that's our view on the data explosion. Um, and of course, all of that data needs to be stored, processed. Um, we need to derive value. Um, we need to be able to analyze that vast data pool um, and figure out how it can add value to our business or to our customers' business. So it's front and center on the agenda. And we have numerous early um, implementations of big data applications, particularly in network fault management, network correlation, understanding right. the impact on customers. Um, and in fact, our big data solution in that area reaches beyond the data that's inside of our company and reaches into social media, public so you're social media. In yes, other data yeah. forms. Yeah, and correlating what customers are saying about our services with what we see from um, the alarm systems on the network. Right. Is is it all in? Is your use of big data currently all sort of for internal use to manage the networks and so on, or do you see an opportunity to monetize that big data itself? Well, um, in one sense, it is internal, but the internal management of our network we then externalize as a service, particularly for enterprise customers. Right. So if we're able to offer fast diagnosis and fix times on our global network for enterprise customers mm. then that represents a differentiator for us against our competition right. um, and is in that sense monetizable. How significant uh, an issue is cyber security for you these days? Um, cyber security is a very significant issue for, for my company and I think for companies across sectors actually. Um, what I see is a rising trend on all the threat dimensions. Right. Um, I think hacking has gone from being um, a, a hobbyist thing to being actually a form of employment for, for, for some people on this planet. Um, they're investing in skills, they can certainly invest in time, um, and they can do enormous damage. So for me, it is about understanding the evolution of that flat threat landscape, and I do think it's evolving fast. Um, and increasing, um, and then working with industry partners on tool sets and also processes, operational processes, for mitigating the threat. Right. Does government have a role to play there too? Um, I think government does have a role to play, not least because much of the data that big corporations hold is with respect to their government customers. So they have a very strong vested interest. They also have an, an interest in protecting the critical national infrastructure of, of, of the country and, and of course as, as BT in the UK we're definitely part of that crit critical national infrastructure. So I think they have a valid interest both as a customer and, and kind of as custodian. ultimate guardian yeah. or custodian of, of that infrastructure in the UK. Clive, thank you very much. Thank you, Paul.